New at 6, there is a new scam, and this time it involves using Google. Kristen Severance talked with one woman who used Google to find a highly recommended company. But she says imposters showed up at her door instead. When Courtney Pearson's washing machine gave her an error message, and it would come up here on the little screen, a friend told her to call Al's guaranteed appliance repair. He actually talked me through things and we fixed it that way. So when the washer broke eight months later, and I typed Al's guaranteed appliance repair into Google, and right there was his information and the number. The next day, these two guys showed up. An hour later, they said they replaced a valve and charged her $420. I told my husband he was shocked at the amount, too. She wrote a check. They left, and she tried to do some laundry. And said, guys, please come back. There is no water. They had done absolutely nothing to fix the machine. But they had gone within an hour. They had cashed the check and it had posted to my account. They never returned and blocked Courtney's number. She looked up Al's guaranteed appliance again. This time she got the number from Yelp. Al's guaranteed appliance. And he had no idea what I was talking about. I told her, I said, you know, this week I haven't had any work. So I, I couldn't have been to your house. It started to dawn on me that the guys who came out here had no affiliation. The real Al, Al De La Cerda, said someone else put their number on his Google listing. You know, I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, not getting calls, and I'm wondering what's happening to find out somebody has changed the number on my site. We called Rafael, one of the men who came to Courtney's house. He said he didn't edit the listing. Okay. But Rafael, you have to see how this does not look good. If you're a appliance repair man, and then the number is changed on Google. You're saying you didn't do that? Who would change it to another repairman's number? I have no idea. I got, I have a company to marketing. I don't know. You are going to pay yeah, Courtney yes, back. I will. Raphael did give Courtney her money back, and Al came to her house and repaired her machine. We contacted Google. The company wouldn't address this case directly but said in a statement, merchants who manage their business listing info through Google My Business are notified via email when edits are suggested. Kristen Severance for CBS News, Dallas.